Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. 